I'm gonna give you five key body weight exercises that you can use to improve your shot putting, and we're gonna start right now. Okay, so what is a shot? We're gonna be throwing a four kilo implement, or a six pounder if we're really young, or a 12 pounder if we're in high school, or a 16 pounder if we're in college, in a seven foot circle. So there's a big concept here. We have to produce as much force as possible in as little time. If we can produce a ton of force in a little bit of time, that means we're gonna throw farther. If we throw farther, we win. So all of these body weight exercises are gonna help improve that impulse. It's gonna help improve that power output, which then gets transferred into the implement and ideally leads to those longer throws. So that first big exercise is going to be a jump lunge. And I recommend doing this throughout the entire year. It's absolutely phenomenal. It's gonna help you in the middle of the circle. It's gonna help you with your hip mobility and you're gonna be more athletic. Earlier in the year, what you can do is when you're doing a jump lunge, you can actually do a pause. So you focus on deceleration. So you might be here, jump, pause, jump, pause, jump, pause. Okay, so now we wanna focus on that deceleration. That's gonna help when we hit the finish at the front of the circle. As the season progresses, one thing you can do to improve that reaction time and to improve your posterior chain and your overall coordination is just rapid. Get okay, here. If you do five sets of four on each leg, you're gonna light up your glutes, you're gonna light up your hamstrings, and in turn, improve your coordination. And rate of coordination is what's gonna lead to that greater impulse, which is gonna lead to that longer throw. Okay, so that next key exercise is going to be a clap push-up, but I'm gonna give you a little bit of a twist here. And that twist can actually help on that extension on the finish. When we think about clap push-ups, it's gonna help us with our bench press. Bench press is known to drastically improve your shot putting capability. So first, if you can't do a clap push-up, do a lot of dumbbell benches, do a lot of barbell benches, do a lot of push-ups on pipes. That's gonna help improve the strength in your triceps and in your chest and in your shoulders. Then as you get stronger, you're gonna be able to be more coordinated and be more explosive. And that's where we're gonna take this clap push-up. Again, further out from the season, you can start to focus on deceleration. So you can do a clap push-up here and pause. Pause here, okay? That's gonna light up your chest and your triceps. That's a little bit of a twist. We can also do a little bit of a variation of a gorilla push-up. So if you notice, I've got this square here. My hands here, I can rotate side to side. That's also gonna help improve my tricep strength, my shoulder strength, and my ability to really smash that finish. That's a big factor with clap push-ups is there's acceleration through that full range of motion, and that's exactly what we need at the front of the circle. Okay, so in this sport of throwing, especially with the shot put, there's a lot of hip adduction. Okay, so if I'm a spinner, I'm adducting my hip here. I'm adding to that midline as I come out of the back of the circle. I'm even holding an isometric position with that left hip as I come out of the back. So a lot of athletes have groin issues because we don't like to squat to full depth. There's a lot of research that when you squat full range of motion, you're training your hip adductors. So start squatting full range of motion to strengthen those. Now, this exercise is a body weight exercise that will help strengthen the hip adductors and abductors, okay, abductors as well. And that's gonna be known as the Cossack squat. So I get set here, okay, and I wanna have Nice posture, get as low as I can, control, and I can go back and forth. I would recommend doing four sets, seven each side, and really try and focus on feeling that groin as you pull, okay? I'm pulling this way, get nice and mobile. That's gonna help improve my hip mobility. It's gonna help improve my strength and lead to ultimately better speed out of the back of the circle. On this next exercise, everyone out there is gonna have a great excuse where I'm too big, I can't do this. Well, guess what? Every shot putter should be capable of doing pull-ups. And if we're doing pull-ups on a regular basis, we're gonna have a better shoulder girdle. We're gonna have a stronger shoulder girdle. So then we can do snatches, we can do behind the neck jerks, we can do more presses. And when we balance our shoulder stability, now we can handle more volume with those presses and in turn get a bigger bench press. So pull-ups will help us with shot putting. And it all comes back to playing this massive supporting role. It's also gonna help with our mobility in our overhead position, which will help us hold the shot back a little bit more. If we can hold that shot a little bit deeper, it's gonna be behind our hip. We're gonna have better tension in our, in our trunk and that's gonna lead to a better stretch in the middle of the circle, which in turn, now because we're doing pull-ups, our bench press is better, we have better tension at the front and we smash that finish. So, 
get here, okay? Pull that chin up, come down slow. You can lengthen your lats here. Boom. All the way down, back up. One more. Boom. Now, a lot of big dudes are gonna make excuses. They're gonna say, I can't do that. I just go, I can just go do lap pulls. Bull. If we have people like Taman Johnson and Eric Favors that can rip out pull-ups weighing 300 plus pounds, then everybody out there can learn how to do pull-ups, okay? And if you can't, you can pick up a power elastic here at garagestrength.com. You can wrap this around, okay? Wrap that around, and now you can put your foot inside of our loop here, and then that's gonna help you with that assistance. I don't need that because I learned how to do pull-ups when I was seven years old, fortunately, because of my dad and being a wrestler. Everybody out there, start doing your pull-ups. Now, this last key exercise is gonna be absolutely phenomenal for your quad strength. It's gonna help improve your anterior sequence. It's gonna lead to better performance. No, it's not a leg extension. What it's gonna be is perfect plyometric for bigger people, bigger throwers. Throwers tend to be bigger. This plyometric movement deloads your body while forcing your nervous system to recruit really rapidly. It's a stair jump, okay? So if we jump and then we land with our feet a little bit higher, that alleviates a little bit more stress. If I would do a hurdle hop and land entirely on the ground, there's gonna be a heavier load on the ground when I land. That's okay if I have the strength levels to do that. But one of the other reasons why I love doing stair jumps is because it forces that rhythm, it forces that timing, it forces you to be a little bit more athletic and land soft on the feet. So I haven't done stair jumps yet this morning. I'm gonna try and do it and get to the top in three jumps on my first try. Hopefully I don't look like a clown, but I'm gonna demonstrate how to react quickly, use that upper body to coordinate and be fast. And you can do this at your football stadium. You can do this practicing with double leg bounds and then leading into stair jumps. It's gonna help you be a little bit more reactive. Oh, not reactive like that. Okay, I gotta do one more because that was absolutely horrible. And I feel like a pathetic person. When I feel like a pathetic person, like all throwers, I feel like a bad human being. So one more example here of stair jumps. Wow, bad morning for me, but use stair jumps at least once a week. You can do five sets of three jumps. It's gonna help you be a little bit more explosive, improve your vertical jump, and in turn, have a better finish. So if you need help with your training, you need periodization inside of your programming, click on the link down below, head over to throwsuniversity.com, pick up our elite throws training program to help you hit those monster PRs. Until next time, guys, peace.